What's up, fellow gamers? Welcome back. This is your host, Player One, and we are at it again <laughs> in another episode of Autonauts. So, today should be exciting, right? Previously, we went fishing and we got some fishing gear set up. We should get the fishing achievements soon, which will be awesome. But today, what I actually want to do is upgrade these guys to the new house. So, I think it's level five housing. And we got a few things to do for that. For one, this area is too small. Right, so all these things need to be bigger. All these things need to move. And I'm thinking, because these houses are pretty big, right? Level five houses. Let's see. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. That's the size of a level five house, right? And we have 30 of them to do. So they need more space. I'm thinking it's about time we put them in the area. I was doing them to a sign before. I'm going to forget about that. And where's my colony team? There's 28 bots in my colony team, which is a lot. <laughs> So it's going to be interesting to set them up again. And I'm thinking we also give these guys upgrades for searching. Because if you look, see, this is big too. And then there's the next level, which is even bigger. So I'm thinking we give them all the upgrade thing. Where is it at? Here it is. So I think there's a bot making that, right? So let me bring all the bots over here. I'm going to upgrade all this search range. And then I'm thinking we just go ahead and take up a big area here. Just to put these, these colonists set up in. Because I think that's going to work a lot better than what we're currently doing. And so let me go on get that set up. And let me show you guys quickly how to upgrade these bots. Because So let's stop. Have you all come to me. And they're coming. They're just all the way over here. Okay. Here's the first one. Let's bring him here. So we're just going to go ahead and get all these guys upgraded to this. Right? And what this does. Let me actually show you guys what this does. Oh, he doesn't really matter actually. Let's have him keep moving. Hot fixer. Let's test him out. <laughs> Uh, come to me so if you take a look right for example at this right now you go max it's 36 by 36 which i think might just be big enough that's pretty big right but i'm thinking we just upgrade this guy to this which brings it from 36 by 36 to 46 by 46 which is an extra 10 which is massive and i think that should help us with any future endeavor so if we ever decide to like set these up in the future i think this whole area could be that because like i mentioned before the level six housing is big and this is level six and there's another level above this for the castle and we have 30 of them so i'm thinking the extra space seems a little excessive but i think that's what we want i think we want to have all this space there just in case so let me go ahead and set that up um i need to clean this up i need to move these guys a little bit and it should be too hard to move them I think I could just do this and that's going to get them out of the way. Um, yeah. So let me go ahead and get these guys set up. Let me clear up an area for these guys to work in. As you can see, this area is massive. I'm thinking I might just leave those in there for now or I could just put them over here. So this road has to come all the way to about here. Let's see. So I think that's where the road is going to end. Yeah. Actually, it's going to end up going one more over. Right? And here is going to be our fence. And so is over here, I believe. It's going to be fence. And then that's going to go all the way to... That's pretty big. Ooh. I don't think I want to cover up this... Because I can't actually put stuff on that. Yeah, I can't actually put stuff on that. So I'm thinking it's going to have to come up to here. So this is going to be the break line for these guys. So this is going to be the size of the entire um, colony setup group. So it's going to be massive. It's going to be pretty big for us to set everything in. And we should be good for the future too. And I should be able to even put these little things in there. That's going to store all the repair material so we should be good right um so let me go ahead and get these guys set up i might just do a time lapse of that because it's a lot and yeah let me go ahead and do a time lapse and we should be good to go all right guys so we are back and as you notice there was no time lapse that's because it took long it took forever to do i think it took me <laughs> the last clip you guys saw i recorded that like maybe a week ago 
and I just didn't want to do it anymore because I spent a couple hours just trying to reset all my bots for that area and boy did it take some time and it just took some time and I didn't do that much it's just trying to get the bots to work in this area and after I finished getting the bots to work in this area I had AFK for a bit just to get the wall production back up because these were empty it was it was crazy but this is kind of what we're looking at right now um like I mentioned I do have a bigger space here we're gonna put all these we're gonna organize these a little better a little later on but for now I'm thinking this is what we do we just leave it like this for now right and then once we start doing the castle which is these suckers over here these guys we're gonna have to then we're gonna use up more space because these are a lot bigger so I think for now we're just gonna leave it like this and I'm gonna try to organize that a lot better later on. But so far I have six and six is 12. I have 13 castles built so far and I need <laughs> 30 of them. So I need 70 more and they're building, but it's just a lot of resource. It really is eating up a lot of my resource to get done. Oh, this one is done. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm just building them, moving them over here like that. And then, um, where's it at? Where's it at? Where is my colony thing? Putting down a new one like that that's all i've been doing all i really need all i really need is two of them because this is going to be annoying because they already started putting stuff here instead of working the old ones but the reason why i did that because as you go up in stage to require a different resource yeah so they're working on my castle building for me they're going to build a lot of them for me so these guys are all set right they have their clothing they have the new toys apparently the old ones are still here i should clean it up but um I have to set a bot to clean it up, but I'm too lazy to do it right now. So we're gonna leave it like that for now. I could have, I should have waited till the toys and clothes broke, but I didn't. I didn't. I really should have. Now let's take a look at what we want to do next. Okay, this is the current setup right now, and I'm pretty much, I'm almost at the end of this game. So I want to get you guys' opinion. Um, so I want to get you guys' opinion, right? So that's the yeah. What game would you guys like to see me play next? Right. So I have some things. I'm wow. I do not like that jacket. Oh. <laughs> I have some things I'm thinking about, like I'm thinking about doing either, I got a few options, right? So I'm thinking about doing either like Ark, Ark Survival, or Oxygen Not Included. Yeah, Ark, Oxygen Not Included. Um, I was thinking about playing Horizon New Dawn because I haven't played that game yet. Uh, it's on my list of games to play, but that's a few of the games that I'm thinking about playing. Um, let me know what you guys think, what game you guys would like to see me play as um, for the channel. I want to have two games running. I'm just trying to figure out like scheduling how to do two games. So right now, Minecraft is going to be one. And once this is completed, I'll need a second game. So until so I'll let, I would like to have you guys pick what a second game is. And let me know in the comments below. Wow, I don't know what happened. My voice just changed the whole bit. <laughs> um, one of the things I want to do next, right, is... Because I was editing the last clip and I have a lot of time left. So I figure let's, um, let's put on a new farm. Okay, so I'm thinking, right, we set up some flower fields. Um, and the reason why I'm thinking we do flowers is because the next set of colonists right if you look at what um let me show you guys what i'm talking about because it'll be easier to do a show and tell versus uh trying to explain all right so this is level five it's level six it's level seven right these guys need all these things right <laughs> so they also need new toys they'll need a higher level toys i think what's level so clothing right let's let's take a quick look at clothing first i'm jumping around a little too much but let's take a look let's take a quick look so that's level six that's level seven so we have to do this clove. We have to do this one too. Okay. So yeah, I'm building the castles, but I just realized, um, I don't think I build the mansions. Oh no, I do. I did build the mansion, but I only built 20. Okay. That's good. At least we have them already. I'm way ahead in my research. My research is almost at the end right now. Um, so we have to do right now. We need, so I need stuff for these guys. As you can see, it's telling me what I need. I just need, um, what is that? Education for them now. And for education to get to the next level, we're going to have to do, I think it's this one, which is paper and ink. And we don't have either of those. So that's not hard to make. Um, paper, we need this. Water and log, we have all that already. I think I already have the paper mill too. Ink is charcoal, water, and clay jar. Yeah, so I think we have most of these stuff we need. Yeah, so we have a lot of these stuff to build out what we need. Um, It's just where to put them. It's always space. Space is the big issue right now. Like, this map is just massive, and I don't want to, like, put them over here. Because this is where I have more space, I think. But I'm thinking we can start using up some of these space. Okay, so I'm thinking the first we do is ink. And I'm thinking over here is a good spot to do ink, right? Um, Let's have her drop this. So to make ink, we need... Here it is. Okay, so it's a, it's a cauldron. We also need charcoal water and clay jar so that's not too bad All right so we'll need some cauldrons let's see i have 20 of them built i'll put one like right here like that 
I don't have enough resource to fully cover this up. Okay, I changed my mind. I think I'm going to put them over here. <laughs> I think this is what we're going to do for now. Uh, not exactly what I want, but I have the um, clay jars over here. I just got to bring coal and I have water somewhere close by. Where do I have water? I have water over here. Over here. So I could bring that over here closer. It's just coal is going to be a pain in the neck to do. Uh, but what we could do for coal is... I'm thinking we do a small storage because we're going to need water, we're going to need coal, we're going to need something else. Yeah, clay jars are over here. We just need water and coal. So let me set these guys up so they could do it for me. And as you can see, we don't have level level six food unlock yet. How do I have level six food? Uh, because I got to upgrade that good oven. Makes sense. Makes sense. So we need to get ink, right? And I need to bring charcoal over. And how am I getting charcoal? So this is coal. Charcoal is being made here. But charcoal is just cooking wood. The issue is now, do I want to just travel back and forth with charcoal? Because this takes four charcoal to do it. You know, I think a low slowness is fine. I'm just going to grab stuff back and forth. Um, yeah, we're going to do that. So for charcoal, because I'm lazy and I don't want to uh, run all the way across the map, let's grab a guy. All right, so we're going to have a guy that's going to move ink, move charcoal from one side of the map to the next. And I'm just going to grab this and toss this in there because I'm too lazy to do anything else. And that's going to be change it back to this, change it back to this. And you guys see me do this trick a hundred times where I just pick two random things and then um, just select the ones I want. And then we're going to do this and hold control down while you select a bunch of them. And this you do until hands are full. Let them jump out like that until hands are empty. I don't want to do a forever loop. So I'm going to do like this. Hit X to get back over here until full. And then we do until the storage is full. And that goes in a forever loop. Right? Then we stop him. I don't come to me. Copy his code and that should be charcoal guy done. But I think I need like four or five of those guys doing it. So you come to me. Then this guy here, we're just gonna copy the code to him, grab him, do like this, and send him on his way. And that's gonna we're gonna do like four of them, maybe. Um four shouldn't be a bad number. Should move her, her closer for now. Actually, yeah, it doesn't matter where she is. She, she has to move around a lot. There's a lot of movement for her, so I'm just trying to figure out like where the map is not too far, let's just like run all over the map. Okay, let's grab this guy, name him, send him on his way. Get to work, dude. Give me a new bot, grab him, name him. What's that? Four? Let's do one more for five, and then that should be good. So that's our charcoal done. We already have clay pots, so we don't have to worry too much about that. The only thing we gotta do is water, right? So I need to have a new bot, right? And then he's gonna follow me, he's gonna come here. We want him to grab a watering can because watering can holds the most water. I've said this a hundred times. Way better than any buckets. <laughs> At least in my opinion. I prefer it over buckets. Um, we're going to grab a watering can. Put it there. Then he's going to come here. Grab one of these. Until hands are full. We're going to put that in a, forever, in a loop that says until held object is full. And then he's going to dump it here. And with that, we're also going to do until held object is empty. Like this. And let's do forever. I want to copy the code, of course. Um, hands are full, health object full, health object empty. Let's just stop him. Oh, you could take that. Um, copy his code, do that, send him on his way. So I'm just going to put like maybe two of them to do that because I don't think we need a ton. Actually, let's put three of them to do water because I don't think we need a ton of water, but I would like to not have too little. And let's just wait for them to come to me. All right, and so that's all three supplies are being brought to me. So now what I need is three more bots to just fill these up, right? And make ink maker 103. And I'm going to copy his code because I'm going to do him four times. Have him follow me. His job is to come here, grab charcoal. Uh, we are going to do until hands are full and just dump it in here until hands are empty. I don't want to do forever. I'm pretty sure of that guy come to me so I don't lose him. I believe I should be able to put them in there, right? So we do like this, grab this back until um, full, like that. So hands full, hands empty, forever, air 51, 103, like that. Stop him, grab his code. Yeah, this should work. So that's the first bot done. And he's going to pull charcoal up here, right? See, that's already full of four. I'm going to do four more of them. Yeah, I'm gonna create four bots for each. I'm gonna use simple, the simple, my my you know my normal code cheating way of doing coding, uh, where I just copy stuff like that and then just go and choose a different location, right? And then that should let us go ahead and create all the bots we need. 
that's four of them that's gonna have all the guys we need we should be good to go um charcoal is almost full which is not bad water is getting there yeah so let me go ahead and create the rest of the guys bringing charcoal over and i will catch you guys as soon as i'm done all right so we have all our guys bringing charcoal over which should he wait why isn't he doing charcoal until hands are empty oh 52 which is that one okay awesome <laughs> i was adding to the wrong one but that should be good now yeah as you see they're working as expected what is he okay now these guys are going to be clay jar right and that's the name of convention i'm going to use let's put this here clay jar is going to be a pain grab one just nope like that and i'm just going to do this i think clay jar is heavy for me so i don't want to run around with it um never fun to run around with heavy stuff until hands are full until hands are empty and there should only be one and i'm thinking this one would just be a simple forever loop so they always have one in their hand right like that stop stop come to me grab your code and send you back to work and he's gonna go ahead and fill these guys out and as you can see i already called four bots over to help me out with that and we're just gonna go ahead and do the same thing copy the code over and just change their cauldron location oh no they're not actually heavy they're smaller stuff i thought they were bigger than that so we'll do until full and then we'll do this and then we'll do a forever loop like that and um stop copy copy his code and this is 52. all right so it's not too bad so let me do that two more times and i'll catch you guys in a bit okay and that should be all three of these guys now taken care of all my ink makers should be good to go well not all i still need to do the water guys um let's put that back all right so that's pretty good so these guys have two of the three taken care of it's just water time and what i'm thinking we do with that is just yeah let me call some bots over and then we're gonna go ahead and start working on water guys so each one that we're making then we also gotta do guys that are storing them all right so the first guy is gonna be ink maker and he's gonna be three of three right like that we're gonna copy that i am gonna grab a blank bot you're gonna follow me and the only issue is you gotta come a great distance to grab one of those okay until hands are full and then grab one of these so whenever they break their water can, I have to go back and get it. That's going to be a good trek. But everything else should be pretty close. Until held object is full because we're grabbing water. And then we just do like that. Until held object is empty. I definitely don't want to do for... Actually, it doesn't matter. With the water, I'm going to let it not matter. Right? Like that. Stop it. Have him come here. Come to me, dude. Take that. Held object is full. Held object empty. And he should get to work. He's going to grab water until he's full. And he's going to fill it up oh yeah i gotta fuel these things <laughs> i forgot about that oh i really did forget about that um yeah i forgot about i forgot all about that <laughs> i gotta fuel those guys uh we're gonna fuel them in a sec second for now we'll leave like this like that get these guys let me oh um, can't believe i forgot i gotta fuel these guys i'm like why are they not making it yeah but i forgot that these cauldrons need fuel all right so <laughs> Now that we have all this being taken of where these guys are actually... Is that guy come back yet? Let's see. I just want to make sure that all of them are working. There we go. He's here. He's doing his stuff. This guy's doing his stuff. I just saw a guy run all the way here with water. A watering can. Oh, he's the guy that's refilling this. Awesome. Yeah. So they're doing their job, right? We just have to go ahead and fuel these guys. And I have some guys here. You know, I think we use new guys. Okay, so this guy's gonna fuel the cauldrons for us. And I'm thinking what we do is have him come here, grab some grab a log and he's gonna do until hands are full and i'm only you know i should leave that i was only storing it because of the fact that um i can move faster but i'm thinking we just do that and then we toss it here so it's gonna find the nearest cauldron let's get rid of that until hands are empty full empty and i'm i'm thinking we can do this and store it away right i think that's gonna work now we just have to store the ink which shouldn't be too bad and that should be pretty easy to do right we just gotta grab another bot just to store the ink which shouldn't be bad Let's see, ink store. All right, so he's gonna come here, find the nearest ink. Um, I am gonna extend that like that. And I think I will put four bots in here until hands are full and dump in here until hands are empty. Um, let's see. Oh, this is not going well already. That's to go here. Let's stop him, have him come to me. Let's copy his code, find nearest ink, blah, blah, blah. So move to create store, awesome. If anything, we're just going to, um, if we need to, we could always upgrade this one bigger. All right, and that should be ink production. I think for the most part, ink is done, right? And I forgot why I was doing ink, but I know ink is done. <laughs> um, why was I doing ink? I think we were looking for books, right? Yeah, so we did ink because we need four inks for that. And we also need to do paper. 
right? Which is this one. That's log and water. And that's a paper mill. Do I have paper mills? I'm pretty sure I do have paper mills. Yes, we do. And paper mill require power, which is ridiculous. And it's massive. Can I just do this? I think two paper mills are fine. The only issue is that we need to have storage. And I need to be able to store paper somewhere. I'm just not sure how you store paper either. Okay, paper store in one of those. And what I'm thinking I do is use this small storage for like smaller resource. Um, not the ones that I actually use. Yeah. And the ones that I actually need to use, I do a bigger resource on, like for example, with yeah. I'll have to show you guys when I <laughs> when I actually do it. I might change my mind, but until then I'll show you guys eventually when I do it. Alright, gamers. So I think this is where we're gonna end it today. I think we've done a lot. Um, as you can see, ink storage is full, which is what we want, which is awesome. But we have everything else being done. These guys are doing all this stuff for us. They're making the ink. We got our charcoal or wood. But this is this is done. This whole entire production is all set up and good to go for us. So everything is running. I think next time we come back, we're gonna work on paper. And that's gonna be done to get us the simple book, which would be awesome to work with. We're also gonna have to get a dollhouse soon, which is gonna be nice. It does take both them, which we're already making. Yeah, so we we have a lot of stuff to do. We still got a few things to do, but we got a decent amount of stuff to do still. Um, before we can wrap this up. In between play, I got a new wonder, and I don't know what it means by um unwanted animated items. Does it mean that I can throw animals in it? Like I really don't know what that's used for. So yeah, but I have that. Yeah, but I'm going to call here. Um, thank you guys for sticking around. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching the video if you made it this far. Really appreciate it. Um, go in the comments and let me know what video, what game you guys would like to see me play. Um, I'm still undecided on my end. Uh, most likely, if I don't get a good decision from you guys, I'll just go to Ark or something like that. But yeah, so let me know what you guys like to see. And I'll catch you a little later. Your host, Player One, signing out. Good night, folks.